Everyone either argues that Java Edition Redstone is better, or Bedrock Edition Redstone is better, but I have compiled a list of every single difference so people can see the other side. I'll go through all the minor things first, and all the major things I'll save for the end. In Java, Honey is transparent and jukeboxes are solid, but the opposite is true on Bedrock. You can't place things in water on Java, but on Bedrock Edition, you can place some things in water, and it works. On Java Edition, armor stands are boring, but on Bedrock Edition, they can be posed, and the signal strength determines the pose. On Java, daylight sensors have a shadow, but on Bedrock Edition, light passes right through them. On Java Edition, pistons cast shadows, but on Bedrock Edition, light passes right through them. On Java, you can't place components on top of honey blocks, but on Bedrock Edition, you totally can. On Java Edition, water can be contained using a trap door, but on Bedrock Edition, uh, it's not possible. On Java Edition, pistons cannot be waterlogged, but on Bedrock Edition, they can be. On Java, repeaters and comparators cannot be put on fence, but on Bedrock Edition, they can. On Java Edition, torches and pressure plates can be put on top of gates. The same cannot be said for Bedrock Edition. On Java, you can put item frames in the same space as other components, but on Bedrock Edition, this just isn't possible. You can't. On Java Edition, you need a 15-page long book in a lectern, but on Bedrock Edition, it needs to be 30. On Java, levers and redstone torches can't be placed on top of a hopper, but on Bedrock Edition, you can totally do that. On Java, if there's a container on top of a hopper, it will refuse to pick up the item. But on Bedrock Edition, hoppers will pick up items regardless of what is on top of them. On Java, comparators can only read a container if there's a solid block in between them. But on Bedrock Edition, there's a few exceptions, like farmland, chain, and pistons. On Java Edition, walls update in the entire column instantly, allowing for instant downwards transmission. But on Bedrock Edition, it takes a little bit of time for the signal to travel that distance. It's really weird looking. On Java, dispensers will place shulker boxes underwater, will place armor stands, but will not throw tridents. On Bedrock Edition, it will throw tridents, but not place armor stands or shulkers underwater. Java Edition observers can detect note blocks being hit. But on Bedrock Edition, uh, they just can't. On Java Edition, Redstone can't go down anything that isn't a solid block. But on Bedrock Edition, it can go down some of them. There's a glitch in Bedrock where target blocks don't properly reroute the redstone, but on Java Edition, this isn't an issue. On Java Edition, comparators can read through target blocks. But on Bedrock, they can't. If you apply power to the block a comparator is reading through, it will be overridden, but not on Bedrock Edition. On Java Edition, if you shoot a powered target block, it will not do anything. But on Bedrock Edition, the target block will override any power it's receiving. On Java, a single piece of redstone dust can be toggled, but this is not possible on Bedrock Edition. In Java, if you try to give a one-tick pulse to a redstone torch or a redstone comparator, it won't work. But in Bedrock Edition, it does work. On Java Edition, a side input for a comparator can be a redstone block. Uh, but on Bedrock Edition, it is not possible to use a redstone block. On Java Edition, TNT duplicators exist. This is a glitch. On Bedrock Edition, they don't exist. If you want a one-tick monostable circuit on Bedrock Edition, all you gotta do is this. On Java Edition, the repeater needs to be set to two ticks, and you don't even get a one-tick pulse. On Java, structure blocks exist. But on Bedrock Edition, they aren't complete dog sh On Java Edition, copper bulbs add no delay. But on Bedrock, they add a single tick of delay. If you flash a torch too many times on Java Edition, it burns out. But on Bedrock Edition, no matter how many times you flash it, it won't burn out unless it's connected to itself, somehow. Then it will burn out. On Java Edition, if two pistons are fired at the same time, the same one will always be pushed first. But on Bedrock Edition, it is completely random which one will be picked if they're at the same time. For Java, that's cool and all, until you rotate your door 90 degrees and realize it no longer works. In Bedrock Edition, if it was random, it will be random, no matter what rotation. On Java Edition, you can't push containers, signs, or banners. 
that just can't do it. On Bedrock Edition, pistons can push containers and break signs and banners. In Bedrock, redstone stays on top of pistons, but on Java Edition, it breaks the redstone. On a similar note, if you try to use a lever on a piston, it breaks. If you try to put a torch on the side of a piston, it breaks. And if you try to put a button on the side of a piston, it breaks. On Bedrock, levers, torches, and buttons don't break when they're on the side of pistons. A line of redstone next to a line of pistons on Java does nothing, but on Bedrock Edition, the redstone gets redirected to the pistons. On Java Edition, if you one-tick a sticky piston, it will spit out its block. This is a glitch people call a feature. On Bedrock Edition, it doesn't happen. On Java Edition, a torch on a piston is nothing special. But on Bedrock Edition, if the piston is powered, so will the torch. This is a glitch that people call a feature. On Java Edition, no matter how fast you power an unpower piston, it will keep up. On Bedrock Edition, there's a built-in delay to the extension and retraction, making them slower. On Java Edition, if a piston can't extend, but then can extend, it won't extend. This is a bug that people call a feature, but on Bedrock Edition, the piston will extend. On Java Edition, quasi-connectivity allows pistons to be powered in ways they normally wouldn't. This is a glitch that people call a feature. Bedrock Edition doesn't have this glitch. This bug is notorious for being one of the key defining differences between Java and Bedrock. Quasi-connectivity can be as hurtful as it is helpful as seen in this scenario with a wall of sticky pistons pushing redstone blocks. On Bedrock Edition, this isn't an issue. The other largest point of debate between Java and Bedrock is the tick system. On Java, all 20 ticks can be used by every redstone component allowing for some more precise things to be done if you know what you're doing. Bedrock Edition has 20 ticks, but half of them can be used by half the components and half by the other. If you know what you're doing, this can be very helpful. And if you don't know what you're doing, this may seem like a complete nonsense. The keyword is if you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, I don't see why you'd find any less success in one version over another. It just comes down to which one you want to learn. Everyone, just please get along and don't turn my comment section into ground zero.